Okay, I don't make too many of these videos, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Um, this video is regarding how to use virtual dyno to, um, to see if you've gained any power. Um, it works like a dyno, but it's not accurate. Um, there is a way to make it closer to accurate if you, um, if you get an actual dyno pole and you can change correction factors. But first of all, go to virtualdyno.net and download it. Um, and then what you wanna do is you wanna set up your car. So you'll go over here to profiles, add a profile. In here you will choose make, model, all that fun stuff, Ford, Mustang, and you know, choose what corresponds to your car. And then you will put in what gear you do your poles in, usually third gear, so put in third gear, the calculator for um, tread millimeter profile diameter, so you can put in your tire size. Um, put in the rough weight of your car and how much you weigh, occupant weight. Um, final drive is your rear gears, 315s, 355s, 373s, all that fun stuff, and your exact year of your car. Save the profile, and then here's mine. Get saved right here. So I got V6, auto, um, looks like this is 2015, but 2017. So I'll resave that. <clears throat> so, come on. All right. So, and I got 355s. Um, I'm roughly 165. Um, the car averages 3,520 something pounds, but I added 80 for the Pro Charger. Um, 40 for, I have GT front brakes. I just added extra weight because my car actually weighs heavier now. I got heavier sway bars from the GT 350R and everything. So I added extra weight on there plus my weight. Then you just click save profile. <clears throat> All right, profile number 69. Anyway, so um, if you wanna see whether you gain power or lost power, what you're going to want to do is find a road that is um, level, no bumps. Um, start your third gear watt pole at 3,000 and end it, you know, whenever your red line is, um, whatever your tuner set it at. And make sure you have the same amount of gas so your car weighs the same or roughly about the same. Um, try to do it on the same temperature day or try to do it on the same day. So maybe do a run before you add a mod. Put your mod on that day, do another run, and this should show you um, your increase in power. Um, it, it won't be exact to a dyno, but someday when I finally get my car on a dyno, what I will do is I will, um, I will use the correction factors, which you can go here. You could change, you go to dyno, and you could do correction factors. There's dyno jet, Mustang dyno, virtual dyno. I leave it on dyno jet. And if I ever get a dyno pull, I'll probably do a watt pull and pull it into here and change the correction factor so it will match. And then that should be closer to an actual dyno jet for my car. But anyway, so I have it on horsepower, foot pounds, boost, convert to PSI if you're boosted. Um, this is just graph options. And then here is, if you're boosted, you definitely wanna check AFR and boost, okay? And once you do that, there's another thing you need to do because when you pull documents into here, when you pull your data log into here, it needs to be able to read the column. So to make it easier, 
I change the columns to AFR1 and AFR2 for measured, but I'll get into that a little bit later. I always type boost under boost. Okay, so now let's get into pulling a data log in. Let me open up live link. And if you don't know, I'll find I'll show you the easiest way to to trim your data logs. Um, usually better for the tuner and better for pulling into uh, virtual dyno because it just shows you your watt pull only in case you recorded a big old huge long data log. So normally you would import it from your device, but I already have it imported. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to open or either you can go to open and find it on your desktop or from here you could do, I wanna open and I'll, it'll do the same thing. So I'll pull on this data log here. It's kind of old one, but it's the only one I could find that I actually had, you know, a long data log with a watt pull in the middle. You know there's a watt pull when you got this tabletop here. First thing I do is I click max. That shows you the entire pull, or the entire data log. I had this thing going from, from when I did my watt pull, and I just kept it recording because I wanted to see the data over here. So. After this, after you've checked out and you can kind of see where the watt pull is, go down to this little the second symbol, which is a pencil with a negative. Click on that. And right there, you want to see where it goes all the way up and flattens out. That's your watt pull. So it says accelerator pedal position voltage. If you're logging it, you can also use throttle position absolute, which is one that you definitely need to be logging if you want uh, virtual dyno to work. You need throttle position sense or throttle position, which was throttle position absolute. You need time. Time is always automatically logged. Um, you need. Let's see, so you need throttle position, absolute. You need time and RPMs. That's all you need to work vir virtual dyno, but I log all this stuff. So we got this tabletop here, which shows that this is the watt pull. So click bef or line up before it, right click, drag, then let go, and it will highlight everything here. Now, from here, if you want to save this data log clipped, just like this, when you go wide open throttle and let off, you'll go save view. Your tuner would probably love you for that, not having to sift through everything. Okay, so what I have here is my watt pull. This is foot to the floor. Here's my boost. Uh, but... I don't really need to show you any of this other stuff, but if you need to check out your data log, I'll show you that in another video. So I have my watt pull here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do save view and I'll just call it the same name, but underscore VD for virtual dyno. Okay, now that is saved on my desktop. The next thing you want to do is you want to open it. In order for it to work in virtual dyno, you need to change a few of the top columns. You want to change them to what you change what you added in virtual dyno. Remember profile options, columns and profiles. We checked AFR and boost. 
and I, we added AFR1. You can either say AFR1 or AFR2. This will show you what your um, air fuel ratios are on bank one or bank two, and then boost. This really only needs to be done if you're procharged or turbocharged. So let me go back out of this. The first thing you wanna do is where if you're, if you're boosted, go into where it says boost, erase all this mumbo jumbo afterwards in PSI and all the numbers. Erase that, hit enter. Then you want to go over and find measured AFR bank one. And what you wanna do is you wanna change that to AFR one. So that virtual dyno knows to read that. Same with um, measured AFR bank two. Change that to AFR two. And now you want to go to throttle position absolute. Double click that. Just make it say throttle position. Nothing else. Hit enter. From there, you are done with that. You just need to click save. And you need to exit it because if you are using it in here, it won't open in Virtual Dyno. So exit. Pull Virtual Dyno back up. And then take your document and drag it right over. And there you go. I'm definitely not the best at recording these videos, so sorry if the quality is crap. Um, so here we go. We got says 361 horsepower, 303 torque. Um, again, it's not a real dyno, it's a virtual dyno. So what I do is I'll do a data log pull before I add a mod. I'll put that mod on that day and I'll go out and I'll do a run again. Um, I'm about to load a different log. This log, I was in the middle of tuning. I remember it because here's my AFR. My AFR got above 12, which kind of freaked me out. So um, I got a revision, which dropped it back down. But we got 11.8. So it shows your your AFR. And then the dotted line is your boost, if you're boosted. I had a ton of belt slip here because I just barely put the Pro Charger on. And I didn't have it tension enough. So instead of the boost going up like it should have, it went down to 5.4. But anyway. Um, so you can have your AFR, so you can see that graph, you can see your boost, you can see your horsepower and your torque. Um, like I said, um, this was when I was still in the process of tuning. It shows 361. Um, I believe I was 91 octane, no meth, and 3.85 pulley. So there's that. Um, I'm going to load another run, which, well, it's already loaded. I'm just going to show it, which was when I dropped down to a 3.70 pulley. Um, and then I added water meth. And it was roughly the same temperature. Actually, it was a little warmer. So you can see here how much more of a power gain I had. Dropping down the pulley, having the tension properly so that I could get all the boost. I went all the way up to 10.6. Um, the wavy line on the boost for the Pro Charger, or centrifugal uh, supercharger, Pro Charger told me that's due to uh, variable valve timing, exhaust valve timing. Um, so if it flows more, of course, the pressure drops than if there's more restriction because boost is a measure of restriction. So here we had max 447. So 447 minus 360. What do we got here? Let me check on my other computer. 447 minus 361. 86 horsepower gain. Um, it was actually probably cooler on this day. I'll have to check. This was probably a warm day. that I, I remember it was warm when I was getting tuned. But um, sometimes I'll do a pull on 
a hot day and then without doing any mod changes I'll do a pull on a cold day just to see you know what kind of power loss I get but this is pretty cool I mean um, I like to have fun with all these graphs and such um, so I will let me get rid of um, this old one let's keep the log from when my tuning was done so 447 horsepower now let's have a little fun I'm going to load my unleashed tune when I was NA 355 gears so same gears long tube headers with high flow cats so this is on 91 octane no math no boost 265 horsepower which I'm sure it's a little higher because like I said this isn't an actual dyno it it only shows you how much power you gain a dyno itself is only a tool so I only use this as a tool I don't go boasting oh I got 447 horsepower because I bet if I go on a dyno with the water meth I bet you I have more than 447 horsepower well at least I hope I do but yeah so this is a virtual dyno and so um yeah